Well, many of us are now using various video apps to stay in touch in this age of COVID-19, Zoom being a popular one. Well, sometimes strangers can crash those sessions, and it's not always an innocent prank. Christian Garzon spoke with a therapist locally who recently had her group session interrupted. Kara Juzak was holding a Zoom therapy session when it was bombed repeatedly with graphic video. She says if something like this has happened to you, it might be worth reaching out. The effects of something like that can linger and be harmful. So I was helping to facilitate a uh, support group for a group of people, and uh, we were engaged in a great discussion. Last week, Kara Juzak was hosting a group therapy session that had some unexpected company. We're relying on this uh, technology, and people are taking advantage of that. Suddenly, pornographic images involving children were repeatedly flashed across the screen. And so we were all uh, attempting to turn it off, to... Um, to, to kick that person out somehow. She says people bomb Zoom meetings to emotionally overwhelm and upset others. And so that was certainly achieved in our meeting because everyone was pretty disturbed. Juzek says the encounter was traumatic and had to offer additional counseling in the days after. She is encouraging anyone with this type of trauma to reach out. Just within the scope of trauma, it's absolutely something that professionals can support uh, and help people process through. Juzek says the good news out of this is that Zoom has increased their security significantly over the past number of weeks. Now, she says her security for that meeting was low, so double-check your security settings before starting a Zoom meeting of your own. In Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8, back to you in the studio. Christian, thank you for more information on how to protect your Zoom calls. Just head to rochesterfirst.com and click on this story.